Now this one, um, you're going to need some help, I think, because I haven't taught you something about spring constants. It's actually very similar. So the way energy works in a spring, it follows a very similar equation than the ones that we've done with kinetic energy. And the spring equation is that the kinetic energy, guess this, this is not too hard, is equal to um, one half times kx squared, where k is the spring constant. Okay, so that's that's given for every spring, if you will, and that number is given. Now, as we've got this this grandmother on this weird contraption, and as she gets a certain amount of energy from the spring, right? She's got the spring, and then she gets launched, right? Little grandma here in her chair, she gets launched. But what's going to slow her down is the force of friction. And so what's ultimately asking you is what coefficient of friction do you need? Right? And remember. Friction, the force of friction, is equal to mu times the normal force. Now, we know the normal force because we know grandma's mass, right? So the energy of this, this is the force, but then the work you need to done will be mu times the normal force times the distance that she's going to travel. And I think they give us a distance, right? like 19.8 meters, yeah, so that's like 19.8. And then you're gonna set that equal to this, right? One half kx squared, and you're trying to solve for mu, and that's how you solve this problem.